Okay, it says, I found her through a friend and was inspired to hand paint my own statue. I then heard once you do that and set up an altar that it's, that it's, you're a devotee. There's no backing out. I had the feeling that maybe she didn't want to work with me. I was also told that you can't just stop working with her or something bad might happen. I was also told that you can't ask her for anything until after a year or so of working with her. So I just have conversations and give offerings and ask for nothing in return. I am hope I'm not being disrespectful or doing something wrong. I just want to clarify that the first part of that is um, incorrect. And I understand that you're just repeating what you were told. But no, it takes a whole lot more to become a devotee. Devotee means devoted. Means that you're putting in all of your blood, sweat, and tears to become part of and in a relationship with this particular spirit. But I continue. Okay, so yeah, we need to redefine what devotee means. It means that you're putting in all your efforts, day in, day out, through offerings, through time, through all different sorts of dedication to become a, a devoted person. You know, it's not just a phrase that you toss around willy nilly, like you're not officially committed to something overnight. So I know that people throw around the word devotee like it's nothing, but you can be a devotee to anything, anyone. It, it, it's not just specific or exclusive to Santa Muerte. Also, another thing I want to clarify is people back out all the time. Sometimes it's just not meant for them. Sometimes the commitment is too much. And sometimes their energies just don't get along well together. There's too much for them to handle. So there's no disrespect here at all. I just want to clarify that things are not just so black and white. So if you have a statue, that's a wonderful, great start to begin your relationship. It's a, a, a central focus for you. It's so that you can get an idea of, of who and what you're dealing with. It's a, a level of initial steps you know it's that first level so I would say continue doing what you're doing take it step by step day by day um, learn as you go you're not going to learn everything overnight that's the the product of our modern day uh, social media and generations that we want everything overnight I myself am gu guilty of it as well but take your time with this the person that stated that don't ask for anything for a year that's with the basis of learning what you're dealing with. That, that's probably why they said that, to, to start with veneration, then work your way up to asking for favors. Yeah, like straight up, my opinion is that you can ask for things immediately, but the end goal is to stick with her. You know, like say you're in a desperate situation and one of your family members is dying in a hospital and you go to Santa Muerte for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for something out of desperation, asking for something immediately, but it has to be an emergency at first. But if you're wanting to just develop a relationship, then take your time with it. And once again, that's where the person might have told you to wait a year. It's because you have to get to know this energy. It's a, a very powerful energy. It's a very uh, broad spectrum type of energy. It can, and she can encompass a lot, health, money, love, luck, blockages, uh, protection, cursing, all of that. So you have to take the time to learn all of that if that's what your intention is. But if it's, like I said, an emergency, then yeah, you can petition her right away, but make sure that you pay her back. 